you could start for our uh, listeners just to present yourself. Who are you and for which band are you playing? Okay, well I'm Patrick Mamelli. I'm, I'm an old guy way, from way back uh, playing guitars and vocals for Pestilence. Because Pestilence started out as a thrash band in 1986 and uh, you gave out two demos before you gained any attention from Roadrunner Records. Right. And then you came with your uh, debut, with, which also was a thrash metal kind of album. Can you tell me um, uh, a bit of your, um, your the first years with uh, Pestilence, when you were a thrash band? Well, well first off, the, the demos were not... Well, there was one demo that was not really thrash, because we were, at that point we were listening to death a lot. So it was that was definitely death metal, um, but the second one, you know, it was definitely more thrash. And um, you know, when you're in a group with a with with a bunch of guys, you know, you, you always have to you know kind of listen to what everybody wants, you know. So uh, you know, the the other guitar player, he was like more into thrash metal, and I was more into death metal. So we had to find a, a nice balance between those things. So. Uh, um, you know, Roadrunner picked us up for the Teutonic Invasion. It was a sampler with all kinds of bands on there, and we were on there too. We were picked out as one of the, the you know, the, you know, the, the, I guess the main interest for the for the, for the fans. And so we did the first album, and uh, we were young and like, you know, we didn't know what to expect. We were just like doing our best and uh, didn't really think of of of, of the music uh, that we were making. Especially in America, the the El Malayas got picked up really, really good by, especially the guys from Cynic and stuff like that, because they, because that you know this Malayas was like full of riffing and 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 you know technical skills, but you know that was something, you know that not was not well thought of really, so that would just came natural to to have that thrashy album. But your, your second album, uh, Consuming Impulse, uh, <laughs> that was your real breakthrough. And it uh, it is called uh, said as one of the high po point uh, albums in uh, the original death metal movement. And what do you s yourself think about this? Uh, what is the original death metal movement? What makes you one of the pioneers here? Well, you know, there's been there's been. I mean, this is all like a, like a, a big coincidence. That's how you can call it. We were just there at the right time, at the right moment, mm -hmm. hanging out with the right people. Um, you know, there was nobody doing at that point. Um, you know, the, the sound that we had that just gave us the like the heavy sound. Um, we had Martin on vocals, which was something something else. You know, the, I, the only guy I could compare him to is probably Jeff Becerra from Possessed, who's got the same kind of kind of voicing. Uh, but nobody was doing that. You know, uh, we were kind of the the Euro European answer to 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 death, really. You know, and we were looking up to death because we were like tape trading, you know, way, way back in the old days. Hey, and there is another Pestilence guy joining in here. Yeah, right hi, this you want to sit down? Sure. Please. This is a nice surprise, hi, 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 hi. right? <laughs> Patrick. Nice to meet you. Another Patrick. Yeah, so, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> so I was saying is that, you know, that it was just like a, we were there at the right time, at the right moment, so the, the album came up pretty okay. But again, then again, still, we were not as skilled as we are now, so uh, it was a nice point in time. Yeah, because you have changed a lot, or your musical style it evolved from album to album. And uh, when you came with your third album, is the Testimony of the Ancients. Right. Uh, you had some uh, changes in uh, your members, um, and you took over the vocals again. Right. Um, but uh, was it? These changes did, did they uh, mostly uh, were they the the main reason to all the change musically or did it just well you know of course uh, you, you have to uh, have to understand that I sang on the fir on the first demo so I was kind of you know uh, that was pretty okay for me to sing again you know uh, but then actually to to have a, a bass player that that can play bass you know that that broadens your horizons right away you know so and we're getting more into the technical music. So um, yeah, then we then we uh, asked Tony Choi to do the bass for us, and that like really really helped us a lot. He was from Cynic. He was at that point. I think he was still in Cynic or doing stuff with Atheist. Yeah, he was doing mm -hmm. stuff with Atheist. So and the thing is that you know, and then if you have to if you have to have the the ability like uh, what 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 Tony does, you know, is a good bass player. And, like he can like you know give some extra to the band. You know, before I on the albums I played the bass and you know. And, 
I was not a skilled bass player, so in life we really always have to cope, you know. So um, this was the first time that we could actually uh, kind of get the full potential going that, you know, of, of, of pestilence. But you, you gained a lot of popularity uh, of, uh, throughout this uh, two, two or three first albums, but, th but then you came with uh, Spears in 1993. And here you made uh, quite a lot of change with uh, jazz and fusion and mm -hmm. uh, guitar synths. And this, um, maybe, um, I'm not confused, but this surprised maybe Roadrunner and your fans. How was this uh, record, uh, uh, what's the word? Accepted. Accepted. Why? It w it was not accepted at all. You know, it's yeah. like because uh, you made this nice comment. You know, if you smile, that's not death metal. Uh, it's true. If you are out of the boundaries of death metal, then you know the change is too big. And um, you know, but don't forget, you know, there are some bands that were doing that stuff already. You know, Cynic was doing that. They were using guitar synths and they were like getting into jazz. And you know, at that time, we were hanging out a lot with these guys. So we got influenced by the music that they were listening to, which was like mainly jazz. And we we found out that we were like terrible musicians and we wanted to kind of broaden our horizons and, and get into our instrument. And that was the death of Pestilence right there. You know, this Something used to be going on just now. This song is about drug addiction and how difficult it is to get off the drugs, the cocaine. This song is called Fear. 